Hello everyone, it's Muhammad again. Welcome back to another episode in making 2D game using Unreal Engine 4. Today's episode is very interesting. Today we are going to make the second enemy and I promise you are going to use a different way and a different mechanic. It may be simple but it's completely different and I believe it is something new and you will be interesting to see how it looks like. So let's start first here. I think I'll be putting this enemy in two places. So let's let's focus in this area first. Um, I'll start first using this sprites I made here. It's just two sprites. I call it Gizmo. It's just two points. So I'll be putting. Wow, it's very big. No problem. So I'm just scaling this point, and let's put it somewhere in here. Go to perspective and focus. Yeah, it's fine. And let's look again from here. So this is point A and let's duplicate this and select the other sprite called point B. So basically our enemy will be moving from A to B and, and so on. So I'll just select this point and hide in game and then going to make a blueprint based on our monster. So let's create blueprint using this guy and in blueprints let's call it just monster. So yeah, maybe his atlas needs some fixes, I'll fix it later, but it's not our concern right now. So I'll jump to the graph and I will add two variables. Type of actor and let's call it point A. Oh, okay. Just dash. And let's make this one. Okay, and let's say the variable P or point P. Make it public as well. And it's actor too. Okay, that's fine. Let's then add a reference to our mesh here, which is the character or whatever you call it. Or we can add reference to self and reference to this one. And reference to point P. Then what we're going to change here, we're going to change the location. So let's select set location. So let's set actor location. So what is exactly the value we're going to set in here? Okay, we're going to set not just one value, we're going to interpolate between two values. So let's use something mathematically called lerp this lerp will be interpolating between point a and point b which is this point and that point so let's get the location from here because this is an actor let's get location get actor location and this is point a and this one let's get location and this is point p for now, if we just saved here and compile and let's drag and drop our blueprint here, which is called monster and okay, let's play. Uh, let's just do small change here by moving our start point maybe here so we'll be able to watch what's going on so he's not moving here let's check what is the reason yeah there is something here called alpha so alpha zero it's 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 gradually move between zero and one and zero means the first point and one means the second point so we need to change this value over time so how we can change this value over time so we can add something here called timeline 
it's basically a sort of animation so I promised you are not going to use animation we're going to use a flexible way but this animation is something to control just the alpha value you'll see later that this way is very flexible so I'll just double click here and let's set a float value and call it uh, alpha value and in this alpha value it should be um, let's say six seconds and to put some frames you have to hold shift I'm using Mac right now so I don't know if in Windows if it's it is the same or no but yeah you have to hold shift here and if you can see here this key should be in frame number zero and its value is zero and the other frame or the other key should be here in frame number three and its value should be one and the last one shift and click it should be in second number six and its value should be zero let's save and compile and one more thing i believe before we jump to the graph i think we need to click autoplay and because it's it just keep looping so we need to check it's looping so let's compile again sorry my mistake and then we can jump to the graph and as you can see this set location need to start somewhere maybe begin maybe update so if we look here we find this is update that's nice and the value we already changed it which would be changing along the game while the game is running which between 0 and 1 and, and keep increasing this value and then we need to connect the value here which we already animated with the alpha value so now the value here will be the, the alpha value here it will not be 0 it will not be 1 it will be changing along the time so let's save and compile and you can see this point A and point P so we need to click and pick this point A and click and pick our point P so as you can see he's moving between P and A and I, I believe if we freeze if we froze the game so you can see he's moving between A and P so the only step we need to do now or the only two steps we need to finish this enemy is just adding the collision system for him which will be working on while while making the gameplay mechanics but now we are going to add uh, a, a flipping for him so when he's walking to left he's looking left when he's walking right he's looking right okay the good thing about this system is is anytime I can for example say P here and A here and let's play let's jump here to see the camera so he will be moving from A to B and we can change the speed as well so let's stop and let's go again to the blueprint here so let's take a reference for this is sprite first so let's get the sprite and what we're going to change it to scale so set scale so for scale 3d and let's duplicate this here and of course it would be one of them would be one and the other would be minus one so to reverse or to flip the sprite for the game object and let's put the reference here as well so how we are going to change so we are going to read the value here which is this value and then we are going according to this value if it's 0 or if it is 1 we are going to flip so if it's 1 we are going to use the first case if it's 0 so it means it's in the other point so we're going to use the second case so let's check something first oh sorry let's convert this to string and let's print just to check the value and yeah let's get this point again here so keep it in the platform and let's play so if you check carefully here the value 
you'll find it never hit 0.0, .0 or maybe it hit 0.0, .0 but it will never hit 1.0. So, as you can see, it's 0.0, .0 now, but let's check here. So, it's 9.97, and if continue, never hit 1. So, if you are going to use equal equal 0 or equal equal 1, sometimes it's gonna fail. So, what I'm going to do is, or what is the failure case is, if we say this value equal 0, or this value equal 0. 1. So in this case, mostly we will never have any result. So instead of using this case and sacrifice our game, we're going to use something almost near to 1 and something else almost near to 0. So let's say e greater than or equal and let's say less than or equal. So for the first case, we're going to use instead saying that this value, the alpha value equals 1, we're going to say if, if it is greater than or equal, let's say 0.98 or 99, something very close. And for the other case, instead of saying 0, let's say 0 0.05 less than or equal this value. So I'm sure in both cases, we're going to have some result. So, and say, he, here we're going to check with if condition and let's duplicate this if condition here as well. And if this true, we're going with this case. If it's this one true, we're going to with this case. And if this false, we're going to check the second case. And this one will be running after this one. And this one is cancelled, or you can put this one here as well. But yeah, we don't need anymore to print something to console. Or in fact, let's keep it for now and we'll remove later. Sorry. So let's do string and print. And let's connect this one okay this one finish if it's true it goes here if it's false it comes here and the same here okay let's put it here I think it cannot yeah. okay it's can let's compile and let's run okay uh, function if <laughs> So, yeah, as you can see here is 0, 0.0, but here it's 9.9. .9. Okay, let's change this one as well to make it 9.9, .9, if it's more accurate. And let's make this, let's say, 1. So, we just gonna make sure he's not going to flip so early. And in the same way, we can duplicate this guy or with the other points. Move it here, for example. Put it here. And just make sure this point, this point A, and this point, this point B. And let's play function okay. so here is one enemy moving and here is other enemy moving and yeah so in the other in the next videos we will start working in the gameplay which means we're going to put some triggers and some overlapping actions and everything for for the game logic starting from enemies ending with with the winding feature and all the missing stuff so mostly in the next couple of videos we are going to almost finish this game so looking forward to see you in the next episode i hope you enjoyed and learned something new and yeah keep making games see you bye <laughs>